In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a public gallery that is editable or, or not, you know, depending on, on what you would want for Airtable records using mini extensions. So this uses the portal extension. So let's go ahead and click start on that. Then you'll need to select a user's table. Now you may not have a user's table in your table already. I know this is confusing, but the way we're going to set up this gallery is it's going to be a portal. But portals are typically, they require a user to log in, right? So we're going to have a fake user who's logged in automatically for all users. So, you know, no user actually ends up logging in. So the gallery ends up being public. So the way we will do this is I'm going to go to Airtable and I will create a users table. Now, I'm never really going to have users in here. I'm just going to, this is just for the extension to work. I'm just going to call it this dummy user and I'm just going to delete these. And all we're doing here is just making it possible for the portal to function as if there is a user, but there, there, isn't, there isn't a real user, it's just a fake user. So, okay, so I'm gonna go back here, I'll select the user's table that I just created, um, and I did notice this earlier, so um, it'll say here that you don't have any fields when you had just created the table. What you will need is a field that links from your user's table to the table that you want to show as a gallery. So in my case, I wanna show the bracket as a gallery. So in order to do that, I need to create a linked uh, record field and it will be linked to bracket. And when, what that will do is it will create the connection between the user of the bracket so that the portal can pick that connection up and start, uh, yeah. So it, it just needs that connection. So because I just added it, it, it doesn't show up by default. I noticed that earlier, so I'm just gonna click start again and I'm gonna select users again and it will show up now, cool. So I'll create and what we will start with doing is go to the portal settings and then disable this option. So we don't want to require users to use a login. So we'll disable that. Then we here have the skip login with default user record ID. So that's the dummy user that we need. I know this is confusing, but this is a one-time thing. Once you set it up, as long as you keep this record here and you make sure it doesn't get deleted, you know, you can lock this if you'd like. Um, just sort of a way for the portal to start working as a gallery for you. So I'm going to copy the URL here. And in the URL, there is the part that starts with REC. That's the record ID. So I will copy that over and I will drop it in here. Okay. So by default, if I opened this portal up now, it will show up as a grid. And by the way, I know this is showing up as a portal in the title, but that's just the title. So if you, if you rename this, um, you know, you can call it my gallery or whatever you'd like to call it. And uh, that's just the name from there. In any case, so now let's turn that grid into a gallery. So let's go to the brackets table. And then in the view records section, I'm going to click on gallery. And I want to customize which fields are being shown on the gallery card. So, so if you just load this now, it will default to the fields. It, it will default to essentially like a few fields in your in your uh, child form, which is the form that is used for editing. So, in this child form, this child form, we pick up a few fields and show those outside. But you can customize those fields. So let's customize them. So let's start with the primary field. I'm going to instead select, uh, let me see what I have in Airtable here. So I want to select, uh, I guess I just want to keep it as match. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just select match ID, I guess, so that it's a little bit different. Okay, and then for the thumbnail, I will select the photo. So this is a field that I had set up earlier so that we have nice thumbnails. And let's see, so the last thing we have is the ability to, um, choose the actual fields that are shown under. So these are these fields right here. So I want to show, and just I'll just, I guess, I'll, I'll pick a few fields here. So let's do time and round and winner name, sure. Okay, so yeah, you, you could just add whatever fields you'd like there. Let's go ahead and reload this to see what it looks like. Cool, so you can get the idea. And in terms of what things are editable, you have full customization over those things. So the, really the main point of our extensions are that they're highly customizable. So we give you, um, you know, a, a lot of customizability over which exact fields are editable and when they're editable and all, all that kind of thing. 
And if you have any questions or have any feature requests, please let us know. We'd love to build those things.